All right, folks, welcome to another video. Today we're doing a coffee, K-cup coffee review. And it's going to be the Black Rifle Coffee Company. All right, I got this at Walmart. It was on clearance um, for $7 and some change, close to $8. And uh, it has 12 cups in it. Okay. Now, the other stuff that black rifle sells what that was not on sale you know was a little higher probably around uh 10 or 12 dollars so uh if you if you bought the bigger size with the uh um i think uh 16 cups or something like that um uh, it was like 16 it was almost like a dollar per cup okay so anyway let's get on with the uh, making of the coffee all right, we're gonna stick this. Oh boy, stay open. All right, we're gonna stick that in there. Oh, all right, we got the wrong one in there. Hold on. Nope. One second. All right, we got this. I'm gonna put that in there. Put that in there. All right, and we get the water, mug of water, put that in there, a little messy. Oh, I think I made a little mess. Yep. Okay. I'll close that up. Put this under there, and let's see. Get that boiling. After we boil it, we'll come right back. All right, we're back. Uh, to finish boiling, let's get this coffee out of there. It's still dripping a little bit there. I tell you what, while it was uh, boiling and and filling the cup, I could kind of the smell wasn't really strong, but the uh, I could feel the I could almost feel it in my nose. Uh, that uh aroma okay the aroma was definitely there um the, the the difference between smell and aroma is aroma has that uh i, I don't know it has it fills your uh nose and lungs with uh a, a, something almost like solid feeling you know and uh, i could feel that uh, the smell wasn't strong but I could almost taste that caffeine in my nose, in my throat, in my chest. You know, as it was, it was, uh, it's, it's hard to exp explain, but the aroma was definitely there. Okay, so uh, let's take a smell. Yeah, uh, it's not very strong. Now, this is the medium. Okay, let's taste it. Uh, it's not it's not as bold as I was thinking it was gonna be as that aroma was kind of strong but it's not as bold it has a very sharp tanging tangy or uh I don't know Yeah, it's not very flavorful. Uh, it is a, uh, it has a tangy bitterness to it, but the coffee taste is not there. I'm afraid. Uh, it doesn't, um, as you can see, it wasn't a lot of water, uh, and uh, it's still. I don't know. It's not strong coffee. It's like I said, it's medium. So the tanginess and the bitterness is there, but uh, but the coffee flavor is a little lacking. I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, now, the reason I was doing this uh, review is because where I work, 
I ran into a fellow who used to work at Black Rifle Coffee Company. Okay, he said he used to work there for years. Now, I guess uh, when he meant when he said years, I guess whenever uh, they uh, started. Okay, from the beginning, he started working there, and uh, he said that uh, when they first started, the coffee was excellent. And the reason the coffee was excellent was because they made very small batches. They made batches to order. In other words, they didn't. The, since they were just starting out and they were a small company, they didn't want to waste any of their coffee beans. So whenever they roasted a, bunch, a batch, they would roast to order. In other words, when customers ordered, when there was a, a wave of orders coming in, that's when they uh, roasted the beans and shipped them out. So they were pretty fresh. Now, freshness is everything to a coffee. I mean, it's probably more important than uh, the quality of the beans itself, okay? Uh, if you get a fresh ground coffee, I don't care if it's rum, Folgers, Maxwell House, or whatever, If even if it's just instant coffee, if it's fresh, it's going to be good, okay? So, anyway, uh, the man said that after a few years, uh, when, they, when, the, when the company started getting really big, they started just roasting the hell out of the coffees and storing these coffees in huge warehouses, so they became no better than, you know, the standard generic uh, coffee brands or they they became pretty much like Starbucks, you know. Um, the coffee's not that great. Uh, it's not great tasting. Uh, it's It's got, like every other coffee, caffeine to p keep people addicted to it. But as but, uh, far as taste... Um, you know, it went downhill. That's what the guy was saying. So that made me want to go try some because I've never drank Black Rifle coffee. And I wish I had tried some when they first started the company. Because from what he was saying back then, the coffee was just awesome coffee. But now, well, uh, well uh, I hate to say it, but... I've had, I've definitely had better. All right. Thanks for watching.